Hey, love bugs, it's time for some calendars, so let's get to it. Grab your dry erase markers, and here we go. We're going to trace this month that we're in, which is April. Today I decided to switch up colors and went with my blue marker. All right, yesterday, love bugs, was April 22nd. What number comes after 22? Right, 23. So we're going to make a 2 and a 3. What year is it, love bugs? 2020. Good. Remember, if I go too fast, you can always pause your teacher now that I'm on YouTube. It's kind of cool. All right. When you're doing your digital date, what number of what number do we give April? What number month of the year is April? Right. It's the fourth month of the year. How many days of April have there been? 23. Very good. And how do we write 2020 in a shorter way? in a two digit way. Good, we write a 20. Don't make me sing alone. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday then, there's Monday, there's Tuesday then, there's Wednesday, there's Thursday then, there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Great job, love bugs. Yesterday was Wednesday. What day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. We make a capital T. The rest are lowercase, lowercase H U R S D A Y. Excellent job. We're going to make our incredible equation for 23. I'm going to start with the number 20. If you could write that down in a plus line, how many more do we need to make 23? Let's say 20 out loud, and then we're gonna count up to 23, ready? 20, 21, 22, 23, how many more? Three, so we're gonna put a three here. 20 plus three equals 23. Beautiful job, love bugs. Yesterday you were 146 days smarter. What number comes after 146? Of course, 147. We're gonna take that number and break it, break it, break it, break it down. Take the number and break it, break it, break it, break it down. Take your number and break it, break it, break it, break it down. Great job. Love bugs, let's use our squeaky voices. Here we go. Hundreds, tens, ones. How many are in our hundreds place? One, we make one tally mark. How many are in our tens place? Four, we make four tally marks. One and up, two and up three and up, four and stop. And finally, how many are in our ones place? Oh, there's a lot there today, there's seven. So let's do this, love bugs. Remember when we get to five, we slide and then we give some personal space. Here we go, one and up, two and up, three and up, four and up, five and slide, give a little space, six and up, seven and stop. That's how we make 147. And then for springtime, I'm going to make like a flower this way for spring today. Yeah, spring is in the air, right? We're hearing birds chirping, the sun is shining. Some days are a little bit cooler than others, but that's just a part of springtime. Let's look at our pocket chart here. We've got 100. Count with me, love bugs. 110. 120, 130, 140. And we go to our ones. 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, and 140. Here it comes. I'm trying to get it. Seven. Excellent. We have seven straws in our ones place. How many more do we need to make a 10? So let's say it out loud, say seven. Now I want you to count up to 10. Eight, nine, 10. How many is that? Three, excellent job, love bugs. Three more straws and we can turn this ones into a 10. I'll see you guys next time for some more calendar.